With the implementation of your project, there's certain aspects that may have an impact on that. There's legislation, there's organisational policies, there's procedures, the th way that we do things. What I've written here is some of that legislation, some of those policies and some of those procedures you will look at. And no doubt you'll be asked a question about this in your tests. Now, the first, one of the first things we look at is the code of ethics, our conduct, the conduct of the industry that we're working in. What are we to do? There's our occupational health and safety laws. If we're constructing something, doing, doing a big building, constructing a shopping centre or a major building, these laws will, in Australia, are very, very strict. In fact, on each building site in Australia, we have an occupational health and safety officer. And that's all he does. Every day of construction, he is there for the occupational health and safety of the workers. We'll also have to look at our risk management plan. And that will tie, and that could be a policy, but it ties in with the occupational health and safety laws. One of the other aspects can have an impact is our financial management and our finances. So when we're implementing that plan or our project, of course the financials are most important. And again, there's our anti-discrimination legislations, equal opportunities, equal rights. They're the things that we have to look at in the project. And again, we might have some anti-discrimination policies, but it ties in with the government law and our ethical standards. It can all tie in together. How you, human resources. Again, there are certain laws in Australia, again, about equal opportunity and privacy, etc. And there's also our policies. So they're the other things when developing the project that we've got to seriously look at. Do we need huge amounts of people? And in what areas do we need them? Our equal opportunity legislation. Remember, in Australia, everyone is equal. Everyone has the right to work. Everyone has the right to an education. Everyone has the right within an organisation to progress. So we have to look at our equal opportunity legislation. And again, we might have some certain policies within the organisation. And that will tie in with the law. And our public relations. Whatever project we're doing, how do we do our public relations to the community? If we're building a huge construction, a brand new apartment house or shopping centre, what effect will it have on the local community, the local councils? What is our public relations going to be on that? So there's some of the aspects that we could impact on your project. You know, we're building a big shopping centre. How are the citizens around there that live around that area? How do they feel about the parking, the increased traffic, the noise? Will there be c controversy over this? So we have to look at that. It will have an impact on that. And of course, our copyright laws. We must look at the copyright laws and our privacy laws. Remember, in Australia, everybody's information belongs to themselves. There's intellectual property that belongs to them. If you invent something, it's yours, not anybody else's. And again, we might have policies on this, internal policies and procedural things that we do, but it relates right back to the law. So there are some of the things that could have an impact on your project, the implementation of it. And all the way through doing that project, you review all of this. Are we doing the right thing? Do we need to change any of this, change any of our policies and procedures to fit in with the laws of the land? So remember, when you're implementing your project, look at all of these things and do we have to change them, abide by them, or do anything that will fit in with our project?